Hey guys, welcome back to the Getting Started series. In this one, we're going to talk about the data object. The data object is passed to us in handle data and before trading start, and it provides us with a set of functions that we can use to look up either historical or current data for any securities. To start out, I'm going to create a reference to the Microsoft security in initialize. And now in handle data, I'm going to use data.current and I'm going to pass in the reference to my security as well as the string price as input. And this is going to get me the most recent price of Microsoft in the given bar. And I'm just going to print this out and build and uh, there's the current price. Now I can get other fields as well, such as volume or open price, high, low, and I can do this for multiple securities in the same call. So in this example, I'm just going to change what I have up here in initialize, and I'm going to put context.security list equals, and then a list containing Apple and Microsoft. And now I'm going to call data.current on my security list. And for the fields, I'm going to pass in a list of uh, high and low. And this is going to return a data frame where the rows are my securities and the columns are the fields that I specified. And I'm just going to print these out. Um, I'll start with today's lows. And then today's highs. Now you might have noticed that the output type of data.current switched from a scalar in our first example to a data frame in our second example. And this is because the output type depends on the input types. So if I give a single asset and a single field, I'm going to get back a scalar. And if I give either a single asset and a list of fields or a single field and a list of assets, I'm going to get back a series. And if I give in two lists, I'm going to get back a data frame. Hopefully you'll find this intuitive, but if not, it's in the documentation. Another function in the data object is can trade. Can trade is what we use to tell if a security is currently listed on a supported exchange. Similar to data.current, I can either pass a list of securities or a single security, and I'm going to pass a list in this example. And this is going to give me back a pandas series of booleans, where a true value indicates that the security is listed on a supported exchange and you can place a trade for it. If you recall, that's a check that we made in the last video prior to placing an order. This is important because if you try and place an order for a security that either has not yet been listed or has become delisted, your algorithm will hit an exception, so this guard prevents that. Next, we have is stale which I can use to determine if the results of data.current were generated in this bar or if they were forward filled from a previous bar because this bar has no data. And this is the same as can trade, where I can either pass a list of securities or a single security. So I'm just going to pass in the same security list. And now I'm going to add a couple print statements and build. So I have my highs and lows. Um, whether I can trade these securities, and both of them have data in this bar. Finally, data has the history method, which allows us to look up historical pricing and volume data for any security, but we're going to cover it in the next video by itself.